Hey YouTube, so um, I've decided I'm actually going to do a series of builds on my cycle cart. Um, I currently have it in my shop here. Um, we did a Google meeting um, a couple weeks ago and we're doing another one on the 16th with the cycle cart group. And one of the things we're doing is we're kind of working on our cycle cart. So I'm going to actually do a cycle cart build. Uh, we're actually going to tear down and rebuild a preseason build. So um, I'm going to show you a couple things on my cycle cart and kind of walk you around my shop just so people who are watching this and are getting introduced know who I am. So uh, my name's Ken and I'm an auto shop teacher. Um, good friends with Adam who is also a YouTuber and auto shop teacher. Uh, he's the one that got me involved in this. Um, and so anyway, uh, just trying to refine this. I actually have a couple of is coming up, um, and so I just want to get my, my cycle cart right and tight, everything squared away and cleaned up and looking pretty before those races. So uh, let me just give you a little walk around on the cycle cart, and then we'll be done here. So if I can get it to okay. So <clears throat> uh, my cycle cart is based off of a 1938 Miller uh, or a Golf Miller. Car or race car. Um, it's got a pretty interesting history. Um, the parts or the built the race cars that they built were um, kind of innovative. They had a bunch of different designs, and it seemed like every year the owners and people who were building it changed. So the body changed, the engine changed. Uh, so anyway, I based it off of that mostly because I saw one picture where cylinder Jaguar motor in it and the six cylinder Jaguar motor had six individual pipes coming out of the back of the vehicle and so I actually have built um, right here an exhaust system to mimic those six pipes that came out of the, the tailpipe um, so that that was kind of my inspiration I guess was that exhaust um, for my cycle cart um, basically I have um, I have a front end that is a golf cart front end, so it's off of a club cart that I got from my dad for free. One of the things I'm actually doing, uh, I'm looking at putting front brakes in um, to the the front of this cart. Now, cycle cart rules say you're not supposed to have front brakes. I talked to Steve and Dennis, and both of them are like, we're not really sure why, probably because it's just going to push into turns. My thought is, worst case scenario, I end up with an emergency brake. Best case scenario, I can use them to slow down coming into a corner. Um, right now, I have a single hydraulic brake in the back, which is what cycle carts say you're supposed to have. So if you see right here, um, this is my disc brake. And it's just got a little go-kart caliper on it. You can get from Amazon. All of the stuff's from Amazon. Um, with a sprocket and a single drive wheel, which uh, this one's keyed, so it's a single drive wheel. This one is not keyed, so it spins freely, giving us a differential effect. Okay? So, over the next few videos, my goal is going to be to basically tear this down. I'm going to go back through and weld and grind all my welds. I'm also going to be trimming off any excess metal. So anywhere that there's like metal that doesn't need to be there, I'm taking it off. Um, it'll lighten the cart a little bit. Um, it'll do a, a few things for me. And it'll make it look pretty. I am not a welder. I don't proclaim to be a welder. So if you're a welder, good job. You did great. Uh, don't criticize me. If you criticize me, they may not finish this series. Okay. Um, anyway, so that's what it is. Uh, my motor on mine is actually a 212 Tillotson. The uh, cycle carts, they use Honda motors. Uh, I use the Tillotson because it has a starter. Um, and so that gives me the ability to sit in my chair with a battery. I usually use a battery pack and I can just go ahead and start the vehicle from there. Um, more like a real car. There is no rear suspension. I do have pretty good front suspension with the, the, the uh, club cart. So, 
Uh, let me show you a little bit around my shop just so you kind of when we're doing these. So I do have a lathe, but that does not mean I'm a machinist. In fact, I inherited this. Uh, I gave my grandma some money for this one. Uh, this used to be my grandpa. He was a gunsmith. He was a machinist. Um, I am not. Okay. Uh, so if you see me use the lathe or if I use the lathe, you know, don't be too critical. I'll take constructive criticism. I won't take other criticism. My mouth off. So I'm kind of a loud mouth anyway. Okay. Uh, other things in the shop, I've got my tools, which are a mess right now. I actually just moved to this shop. Um, this is my <clears throat> new shop. Um, I do some builds at the high school or some stuff at the high school. I'll probably be doing some of the welding and stuff at the high school. So there will be a couple different venue changes. Just so you know, um, I've got lots of projects. I'm a project guy. Uh, I found that if I keep my hands busy, then I'm better off. Um, like, for example, this right here, this is my next cycle cart, um, this build, and I'm recycling, reusing on this one. So this was a, I believe it was a, a college build, F1 SAE car. Um, what I've done is actually cut a bunch of the fat off of it, and I'm machining down the front spindles so they'll fit the wheels. Trying to put zero money into this. I did have to buy some bearings uh, from Jack Gee at Vintage Carts. Um, and that's pretty much all I'm hoping to have to buy. Uh, the inspiration car behind this is actually a Mercedes uh, 308 from 1933. That's my concept on this one. Uh, one of the reasons is I actually have a Mercedes kit car that I've turned into a go-kart. Um, it actually is going to be the support vehicle my wife and my kids will ride in while I race these other two carts. Um, so I built the whole frame underneath that. Uh, I do need to do some work on the axle. It'll have a 420 in it with the starter. Um, again, because I'm building it basically like a car would be. You get in, turn the key, it'll have brakes, it'll have gas. Um, it's going to be pretty sweet. Um, the kit car, again, I picked up from a friend for... be two or three hundred dollars into it right now um, i have other projects that i'll be doing so like this one right here is a terror tiger six-wheeled amphibious vehicle um, i have a couple more here that i'm planning to do some stuff i've got rat rods i've got all kinds of projects my newest project is actually this dump truck um, it's a 1962 international dump truck so i work on that you know so these videos will come out when i'm doing them a little ADD about my projects. I just kind of move around as I feel what I want to work on. I work on it. So anyway, that's just what I'm planning to do. This one's a little longer than I want them to be. I'm going to keep them between well five and ten minutes. I guess we're right in there. So just quick videos. I'll try to edit. I'm not a great editor, mostly because I just want to work on stuff. I don't necessarily want to video everything, but I know it's beneficial and helpful. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully you guys enjoy this series. popular it is or if anybody really wants to hear from me so anyway hope you guys have a good day we'll talk to you later bye